Shalom. All praises, glory, and honors to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, Raka, Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and to the elders of great millstone, peace and salutations to the elect. I'm my brother Mark Collard from the Grim Stone Jamaica camp with a lesson here to feel the potential like, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And I think I'm gonna call this lesson just a reminder. Yeah, just a reminder to us, the hopeful men of the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, the potential elect, you know, of the times that, that we are in. And uh, I think Micah, the seventh chapter, a couple of verses down. I just want to read it, which brothers, we, we, we know the scriptures, the scripture, but you know, it's, it's always, it's always good to get it afresh in our minds. And so much more we see where our persecution, our tribulation is coming from the people of this world because they are not of Yahweh Shai. You know, they are of this world, they have their father, the devil. As yesterday, I was talking to someone and they're they were telling me that they chose Christianity and I said the reason why you choose Christianity is because it, it makes you feel good for comfort you know comfort to the flesh you know, it's a feel good thing but not not the the spirit of the Lord where you're guided in the right way and basically they're saying to me that look I am negative and what I teach is negative you know and and, and, and and my thing is all about destruction you know and I, and I killed the conversation and I was gonna ask that person then look is this the kingdom of heaven and certainly they, they're gonna say no and I would ask them afterward that look the scripture says that the meek shall inherit the earth right so if this is not the kingdom of heaven then that means this one has to be destroyed for the kingdom to come. But you know, I just leave it right there, you know. Because the Lord said it best, do not cast your pearls before swine. And that was a swine that I was casting my pearl before. So I just leave it at that, you know. Scripture speak about a wise man know, know basically when to hold his peace and you know when to say and when not to say. So, you know. We just, we're trying to apply these precepts to the best of our ability. Now, Micah 7 verse 1, it says, Woe is me, for I am as when they have gathered the summer fruits as the grape gleaners of the vintage. There is no cluster to eat. My soul desire the first ripe fruit. Right? It says, the good man is perish out of the earth. And that's the reason why that's the reason why the earth is in this chaotic um, state, you know, and and it and it and the epicenter of it is, is Babylon the Great. That's why when you go into Revelation, as a matter of fact, let me get that scripture. And I'm driving here, yeah? so just bear with me about a question. Oh, well, I don't cross. So. I think it's Revelation 11. If I have to stop and get the scripture, I'm going to get the scripture here. Where? It says where? Oh, but gosh, I'll be with me. I'm driving. So where? Where? Oh, Lord. Remember the text. Where you are. Revelation 11, exactly. In Revelation 11, verse 8, it says, right, and it reads, And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of street of the great city, which is America, Babylon the Great, right? Which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. And where our Lord was crucified, which means um, um, crossed up. Oh, I was I was putting cross out my bad, Salakia. <laughs> you know, so we are our Lord was crucified, man. You understand? Which is America, 
so, so because the good man is not in the earth let's go back to the text here Micah chapter 7 verse 2 it says the good man is perished out of the earth and there is none upright among men so Yahawashai standards are not kept we have all the ways of the Esau Edom the devil um, amongst our people and that's the standard you know you name the philosophies do as thou will this right that right this pride that pride you know the, 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 the they them pronouns and shit you know, it's everything just upside down children proud against the Asians you name it everything that's bad you know sex wild these women way out of order the men out of order you know men trying to be women women trying to be men each other playing each other's role uh, you know everything's upside down man, because of the devil so let me read it again Micah 7 verse 2 again it says the good man is perish out of the earth and there is none upright among men they are lying wait for blood they hunt every man his brother with a net and you can see that you can see that you know look at look at like uh, even here in Jamaica the crime rate is high and and shooting one person nowadays is enough when these men going on the on evil people are and by standing bam bam five you know three four five people one time the other day I think nine got hit and three died somewhere in here in Jamaica that's that's how it that's how it is you know the scriptures the Lord said it best because iniquity may abound the love of many shall wax cold uh, verse 3 says that they may do evil with both hands earnestly the prince ask it and the judge ask it for a reward your politicians your leaders man right it says and the and the great man he uttereth his mischievous desire so that they wrap it up you know he saw Edom that mischievous nigger because he's a nigger yeah that's that's the true nigger <laughs> right verse 4 says the best of them is as a briar the most upright is sharper than a thorn edge the day of thy watchmen and thy visitation cometh now shall be their perplexity because you see the, 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 this truth is a light that shines it in dark place man it shines in dark place and it's gonna show all the deeds that are in the dark so look out for your persecution brothers man there's a time of trouble there's a time where we are gonna be persecuted and I can't tell you to the T how it's gonna happen but we know we have examples in the scriptures check the book of Acts you know if people are gonna come up against us our families you name it you name it you know everybody don't be surprised if the woman that you sleep with and know that what you believe in uh, ask you a silly question based off what you see of the internet about the Hebrew Israelites don't, don't, don't be surprised because that's the time that we're living in man and, and, and we are we're, sorry we are we are heading in and um the lord the lord went through it so you know if, if we are the lords guess what the servant is not greater than his master man right verse 5 it says trust thee not in a friend put thee not confidence in a guide keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom and 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 this is something that even myself here is now trying to uh or should i say it, it, trying to basically um um say that that you know is um one second i see something that i had to look on basically my bad anyway um that's something that i'm trying to practice that's what i wanted to say practice more uh, you know among the among my daily life you know say less man pray more and talk less especially around your woman because remember when pressure hit they're gonna fall 
you know, not saying that all of them are gonna fall and maybe they can fall for your benefit as well you never know what the Lord is, is, is going to do but it's just best to keep your mouth from from them look at Yahusha when he was about to be crucified you know Pilate said unto him you know don't you know that I have power to, to crucify thee and because Yahusha wasn't speaking any at all and the Lord let it be known to him that look you have no power except it be what given to you from from above man from the father so we have to look on this thing from that perspective that whatsoever we're going through it is the Lord who is doing it man it's not them they are just vessels that the Lord is using to get his job done right verse 5 again it says trust thee not in a friend put thee not confidence in a guide keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom it says for the son dishonoreth the father and the daughter riseth up against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law man's enemies are the men of his own house so the scripture ain't lying man. you know believe the scriptures for what 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 it is saying you know your enemies when the scripture speak about loving your enemy this is who he's speaking about man men of your own house man so it says a man's enemy are they of his own house it says therefore i will look unto the lord i will wait for the power of my salvation my god will hear me and that's the reason why you have uh, the Apostle Raka keep on pushing uh, prayer, you know, prayer, prayer, prayer. Because when you pray, it exercises your faith. And, you know, it is written without faith, it is, it is impossible to please the Most High. For he that cometh unto him must believe that what? He is. Uh, goes back to the name. And that is a reward of them to them that diligently seek him. Man. You understand? And we believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahusha. We believe in His judgment, and we also believe in His tender mercies, man. His, his, his sure mercies, man. You know, we believe even the mercies, the sure mercies of of David, which is Yahweh Shai, Really, when you look into it, you understand? Because the Lord didn't, the Lord didn't take away from David is 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 our mercy, man. So we want to be in that our mercy seat, you know. We want to be in that mercy seat and right, so um verse 8 it says rejoice not against me O mine enemy when I fall I shall arise when I when I sit in darkness the Lord shall be a light unto me yeah it says I will bear the indignation of the Lord Yahweh because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause right and executed judgment for me so we're waiting on the Lord to execute judgment for us, man. Right? Because we have sinned against him. And see, when 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 you know these scriptures, man, and you um you're faced with what what whatever obstacle throughout the day, uh, you know, whatever. You know, it's it's, it's 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 a blessing when you can really pull back these scriptures and um say, look, I am wrong. This is just the purging of the Lord, man. And even the time of Jacob's trouble, even the time when we are being persecuted, we have to um, keep these things in mind also. Yeah, definitely we have to keep these things in mind that, you know, we are being judged by the Lord, you know, because we have sinned against Him, you understand? So He is purging us, man, and making us more perfect within His Word, right? So He says, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me he will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness and we know Yahweh Shai we know Yahweh Shai who says vengeance is mine I will repay these people don't know him we know Yahweh Shai and you see when Yahweh Shai is, is revealed and you and you, you, you Christians yeah let me just touch you <laughs> for a second when you Christians realize that Yahweh Shai ain't Jesus he's not gentle Jesus meek and mine that love red yellow black and white people you know it's gonna be a rude awakening for a lot of you man. for a lot of you like a lot of you man. seeing Yahweh Shai is gonna tear and he's gonna devour and he's gonna he's, you know, he's, 
the law is gonna get crazy at you niggas man you know all you heathen nations that come up against the Lord <laughs> trust me when Yahusha is revealed from heaven all of you are gonna go back in order man every single body is gonna go back in order right right verse 30 says then she that is mine enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her which said unto me where is the Lord thy power mine eye shall behold her no shall he uh, where was I verse 10 it says no shall she be trodden down as the Maya of the streets you're gonna be trodden down you see and guess who and, and for the ones of you that basically um make it into the kingdom guess who's gonna bring you in there eventually it's the Lord but who is gonna use he's gonna use his men to bring you in man men you know the scripture says that you're gonna be saving childbearing so it's, it's, it's men Right? He says, in, in the day that thy walls are to be built, in that day shall the decree be far removed. In that day also he shall come even to thee from Assyria and from the fortified cities and from the fortress even to the river and from sea to sea and from mountain to mountain. Notwithstanding the land shall be desolate because of them that dwell therein for the fruit of their doings. And that's a good, hey, that's a Hey, that's a good scripture, man. See, so, you, so, so, like the person I said, I'm speaking negative. This is the reason why it's so negative to you, because the, 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 the fruits of your doings, man. You understand? That's the reason why judgment is going to hit that. Let me read that again, verse 30. It says, Notwithstanding, the land shall be desolate because of them that dwell therein, for the fruit of their doings. And the fruit is, is by the fruit, man. You know, it's not meat for repentance. He says, feed thy people with thy rod, the flock of thine inheritance, which dwell solitary in the wood, in the, in the midst of Carmel. Let them feed in Bashan and Gilead, as in the days of old. According to the days of thy coming out of the land of Egypt, will I show unto to him marvelous things. Right? As a matter of fact, you know, I think I'm going to close it off here. Because, you know, as a matter of fact, Verse 16 says, The nations shall see and be confounded at their might. They shall lay their hand upon their mouth. Their ears shall be deaf. Right? It says, They shall lick the dust like a serpent. They shall move out of their holes like worms of the earth. They shall be afraid of the Lord our power and shall fear because of thee. <laughs> hey, this is comforting to the spirit, man. Trust me, this is comforting to the soul. They are going to fear. I just said that a couple of minutes back. You, you nations, you people don't know who the Lord is. You know, you're gonna know that the Lord is a cruel Lord. You know, you're going to know that the Lord is a cruel Lord. All right? Verse 18 says, um, "Yeah, it says, who is, who is a power like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity?" And that's what we need, right? And pass it by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage. You retain it not. His anger forever because he delighted in mercy. And that's the reason why you have to kiss the sun, man. Kiss the sun, least he be angry because Yahushua was the one that went upon that cross to buy us back onto our power, man. So, you know, you have to give that respect and that credit to Yahushua. You know, all you Old Testament Israelites that don't believe in Yahushua, <laughs> okay, you missed the mark, man. You understand? You missed the mark. The Lord ain't dealing with you, right? Verse 19 says, He will turn again. He will have compassion upon us. He will subdue what iniquities and thou will cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. Thou will perform the truth to Jacob and the mercy to Abraham which thou hast sworn unto our fathers from the days of old. And that's the reason why we are here teaching, man. That's the reason why we are trying to give diligence to make our calling an election sure because at the end of the day it's all about that promise man you know that promise i'm tired man I, like i'm 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 so fucking tired of this world man of this society man you know it's, it's just like yo good god that it were evening man i would got it to it was morning you know see this place is just this terrible man it's, it's horrible it's just pure stress and pain RTK, pain in the flesh, 
you know, it's, it's time for this place to go, man. And, you know, with that, I want to say shalom.